Uh, I'm Emily Lucas. I am the digital fabrication um, technician uh, for this year. And this is the digital fabrication lab. So in here we have a variety of 3D printers ranging from single nozzle to um, industrial liquid uh, inject printers. So uh, these tiny ones in the corner um, are for fast prototyping. Uh, they are really useful for when like people just want to make sure that their like their objects are going to be the right size or fit together nicely. Um, and then when they're happy with their product, um, they can move on to the more industrial printers. So these printers um, are double nozzle, which means they can print support and model material. Uh, that's really useful because you can print mechanisms all in one and have them fully working um, once you get them out of the bath where the soluble support um, dissolves. Um, the really cool thing about these printers is that you can print, um, and the purpose of them is that you can print uh, complex geometries that are really hard to make by hand in the traditional workshops. So um, if you need like a really specific mechanical parts that need to be accurate in the way they assemble or uh, the way they go into your product, then that's really good. Um, we also have um, the object printer, which prints liquid plastic through um, 190 nozzles per head and we've got two heads. So it comes out with some smooth, accurate finishes that can be ready to spray paint from the machine. That's really useful for like printing aesthetic parts of your um, your products, so like logos or meshes. Um, again, things that if you were to sand down would lose their shape or their, the look of them. So that's why a lot of uh, the students choose to print maybe their contextual parts of their contextual models, um, which is a model um, a module in final year. Um, just to get those accurate parts. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we also have vinyl cutters. Um, again, these are just all extra uh, bits of uh, machinery that are just available to the students. Um, this is a student um, run facility and all the materials in here and in all of the workshops are rechargeable oh, yeah, for those students which is awesome because you're not um, you're not restricted in price wise on what you want to make. Um, we also have 3D scanners um, which are really cool for um, <laughs> again scanning but um, the the product design um, engineering students have a module that is literally just 3D scanning and modelling from that, um, which is really nice. So again, it's something that's accessible to all the students. <laughs> cool. cool. So um, I'll just show you to the um, the wood uh, workshop. It's a bit more Get along 
publishing your workshop. Um, this is where we work with rods of metal. Um, as I mentioned before, in first year when you do the um, workshop training, um, you make some uh, calipers. machines the, uh, the lathes and the mills to create a um, accurate uh, tremor. So um, right now it's twisted tight so no one moves it, but basically um, these all turn and we learn how to use accuracy to the micrometer um, to make sure that everything fits on accurately and nothing's too loose. Um, obviously safety is paramount as well. Um, so we go through a lot of health and safety because at the end of the day that's like these machines are, can be quite dangerous if not used properly so um, that's something we get drilled in from day one. <laughs> From the traditional, we have also modern um, machinery, such as these CNC machines as well, um, that are special for metal. This is the metal fabrication lab. Um, so this lab is doing is similar to the other one but works with sheet metal so um, we have uh, cutters, um, we have machines to bend the metal uh, presses uh, we have hammers to do it more organically depending on what you want to achieve um, and we, have, we even have a plasma cutter over there that often is we have uh, our college stores um, this is a great little thing we have that allows us to buy stationery and um, pens pencils like the typical things like so you don't have to go all the way into town to get or get off Amazon 
the university would buy these um, objects, uh, these products, so um, we would usually get them cheaper here than anywhere else as well, and because they sell at a non-profit basis, so basically what they spend is how much they charge you, um, we do get them a lot cheaper. Um, in the start of first year as well, we get a starter pack, which includes things like um, initial markers, uh, crayons, uh, pens, uh, sketch pads, and we get a lab coat of course for workshops. So that's just an extra thing, um, just to welcome us into the uni. So you definitely get your money's worth <laughs> with this course. <laughs> we have like you can usually find a lot of things events and stuff throughout the year and they'd usually be hosted here when it's not used for events then it's just open space for people to work in or have lunch in I guess <laughs> This is the Made in Renown book 
Wall of Fame. <laughs> so we have all of the Made in Brunel books starting from 2006 to 2019 with the new one waiting to get put up. So if you were to come to this university, um, your work, your book will be on one of these frames. So, which is really exciting. Uh, so, this is one of the third year uh, studios. So, um, here we have computer facilities, open space to do work, um, 3D printers that are available to the students 24 7 with again the materials uh, included. Um, which I need to come up and refill. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so again, this is just uh, open 24 hours for the students. lockers for when students need to bring in their work and put some put them somewhere so um, yeah. <laughs> oh we also have wacoms in there which are computers especially for digital sketching um, again these are just facilities that are again you can use them as little or as much as you want when you are applying to the universities uh, for design, um, look at how much they care about it. One of the reasons why I chose Brunel is because they don't just have the course, they have Made in Brunel, which is um, a brand created by final years that are replaced every year with a new brand, um, with new values and to showcase their work into industry. They have the Design Society, which is a more sociable uh, group of students, usually run by second years, that um, help you with skills that you may be lacking in, so sketching or CAD. Um, they do more social events as well, to so really connect you with um, everyone else in the course. They um, plan events throughout the year, uh, Made in Brunel and Design Society, like 24-hour challenges, which get briefs from um, other companies and you have 24 hours to complete a challenge and present it. So they are very much design central here and that's why I came to Brunel. Um, we ha they also have like staff um, such as the Co-Innovate and um, Design Plus that literally their jobs are to connect with companies and um, make that connection between companies and um, students so they can work together in their um, final year projects and other projects um, from that so they this university is like very much connected to industry and uh, for where, wherever you apply make sure that your university is well known in industry because at the end of the day that's your aim goal <laughs> yeah. so yeah <laughs> that would be my advice <laughs> yeah okay. um, I hope you've enjoyed the um, virtual tour and here are some of the mid teams hiya um, so my name's Amber I'm director of Made in Brunel this year and this is Charlotte yeah I'm the communications manager so I'm actually on my placement year working for Made in Brunel so the team is about 20 of us mixing from um, undergrad to got some masters um, kind of liaisons as well to kind of keep everything together and we're kind of in charge of running design events kind of our real goal is to kind of create and build a relationship between us as design students at Brunel and kind of industry professionals um, keep up that link um, with the aim of you know getting people good jobs when they graduate so we run um, events such as uh, 
pop-up where we try and show like a work in progress of what all our, our final years are working on. We did a like brand launch event and it's kind of all working towards the graduate showcase um, at the end of the year really. Yeah, and then we have some like internal events as well which we run which is a great thing to link all of the year groups together. So we actually have things like we have a 24 hour design challenge where we work on industry briefs where you've got teams of students who include like two final years, two second years and two first years. So you're all working together uh, which just links all the year groups together as well which is really interesting. So my advice to prospective design students would be to get as involved as you can. Like the more you put in, the more you'll get out. Um, I think being part of Made in Grinnell is such a great opportunity. You get to kind of network with um, so many more, so many more people than you um, would think you could. Kind of at all the events that we run, and yeah, it's just a great, it's a great way of being able to get some advice on your work, getting to know more people, um, just trying to do as much as you can. Because at the end of the day trying to get a good portfolio and um, grab a job that you kind of really enjoy is kind of the ultimate goal really. So yeah, just try and do all of, all of the things that um, we try and run throughout the year and yeah, just have fun as well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so the Design Society is like a group of designers, mainly first and second year, and um, it's run by a group of second years which are elected by their peers. Um, and we basically run workshops sketching classes, um, we run, we organise design yeah, boards. So we, yeah, we help the other and, uh, lower years, if they need help, they come to us, kind of find out like, what we have done in the past, so it's a good way. You also get to know everyone in the years above you in design, <laughs> which is really helpful when you're starting off and stuff like that. Yeah, we work with Major Brunel quite a lot to organise events. Yeah. Um, we run our own socials quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were basically for first years we run sketch classes, which is helpful, but also have a lot of socials, so everyone gets to know each other quite yeah. quickly. It's just yeah, it's good to do if you do design. Yeah. So my advice to a prospective design student would be to come and ask second years if they need anything. I mean. It's like a big family here, you know. Just like, be yourself. Yeah. Everyone in design is pretty much themselves, which is quite yeah. nice and refreshing. So sort of just be relaxed. I mean, it doesn't really matter how good you are in design as well. Mm -hmm. You're like, everyone's different. Yeah, I came in so scared that my sketching was not going to be good enough. Yeah. But, like, you quickly gain the sketching ability. So, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And that's what Sketch Club's there for as well. So. Yeah. You have the resources here to get good at stuff, which you don't necessarily know you're good at yet, but you will become good, so don't worry. And join clubs. Join clubs. Lots of clubs. Yeah.